Hey there, fellow Bush Leaguers. Before we get into our usual shenanigans, let's talk about a universal struggle. Underwear, riding up. We've all been there, right? Oh, definitely. It's like an unwanted wedgie that just won't quit. I had a lot of those in school. Tell me about it. I've had moments where I've contemplated just going commando to avoid the whole thing. Well, fear not, my friends. We found the solution to this age-old problem. Man-made underwear. That's right. These guys left their cushy financial jobs to tackle this issue head-on, and boy, did they deliver. Made from the softest Modell fabric known to man, man-made underwear is like a gentle hug for your nether regions. Plus, with their innovative man-sack design, you'll never have to worry about uncomfortable rides again. So, whether you're at work, hitting the gym, or just lounging around, Manmade has got you covered. Literally. So join us in bidding farewell to wedgies and uncomfortable undies. Head over to Manmade Underwear's website to upgrade your underwear game today. A special thanks to Manmade Underwear for sponsoring this episode of the Bush League Podcast. Now let's dive into the madness. Welcome to the Bush League Podcast. A show about nothing and everything. <laughs> Chat GPT is the best. Tis not. Tis the devil. <laughs> It is the way. <laughs> El Diablo! Way. El Diablo! <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? I'm the devil! <laughs> 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 Best Seinfeld episode ever. It's in, my, it's in the top ten. It's in the top ten. Yeah, for yeah. sure. The Chinese, res- doing, Chinese restaurants up there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I said Cartman. Or Cartwright. <laughs> Cartwright. <laughs> uh, the library episode with Bookman. <laughs> um, yeah, the episode where George eats the the eclair out of the garbage because it was just sitting on top of the doily <laughs> thing. Yep. And yep. that's the same episode where there's smoke and he yells fire and pushes all the women and children out of the way. <laughs> trying to, trying to get out of the building. The one, the one where Jerry's car gets stolen, and they're in the, they're in the garage, and they're like, oh, it was like a strip. They go, yeah, it stripped it down, and it shows them looking like it was almost like it was a real crime scene, and they're like almost throwing up because the car is in pieces, and he's like, oh, it's a, it's a turbo. Mine's not. I, I didn't have the turbo. You didn't. My, yeah. mine is a turbo. And then some lady runs in. Did you say it's not a turbo? And they both just kind of yeah, look like, like it's. Oh. I like they're in identifying a, a dead body. <laughs> That's George, when Brad uh, Garrett Brad Garrett's is, is his mechanic in that one. Yep, and he's yep. upset for Jerry not taking better care of the car, but it yep. wasn't Jerry. Kramer <laughs> borrowed the car or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And then uh uh George faking being in the wheelchair so he can have the special the bathroom. special access to the bathroom. <laughs> and another classic is uh Elaine and Jerry go to Jerry's parents in Florida, and Elaine has to sleep on the sofa bed. With the bar in the back. <laughs> Messes her back, yeah. Messes yeah. Her back yeah. up and they won't turn, you know what I mean? Like, Mrs. Seinfeld, turn the air conditioning on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Gonna, I'm just going to list every episode I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's the whole episode. A BLP episode 51. We go, remember when Jerry, episode. remember when George. <laughs> that's, the yeah. name, that's the name of the episode. <laughs> yeah. This is a pen that will write upside down. Yeah. <laughs> Take the pen. I don't want to take the pen. Take the the pen. Take the pen. (laughs) Then the neighbor. Then the neighbor comes over. So, how's the new pen? (laughs) We're all already talking about it. Yeah. And everybody's favorite, Jerry. Hello. Yeah, oh, I think we've already done 10 minutes on the marine biologist. You have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. She was angry that day, my friends. All of George's <laughs> so, fake uh, careers. So good. So, Tyson. Yeah. Um, just going to throw this down. Um, you look very decked out tonight, and I'm very impressed. What do you mean? What you do you look like a real team player. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> for how long? Depends upon the day and the week. <laughs> what do you mean? 
What does that mean? The rumors. Cam- Cameron's so going to leave. For- <laughs> Everything. Tyson's just vying for the top job. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tyson could definitely replace Sergio. At least. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you were ready to replace Christian Horner as team principal. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, it's, That's where I was yeah. going. <laughs> Checo isn't Max. And we won't deep no. dive into this one. But <laughs> even though he can't seem to qualify that car on the front row, he is consistently already putting it in the top two again. He might this, yes. he might like this he weekend. He slowly catches up. And he might this weekend. Jed is his jam. What? Yeah. But the new rumor is he's out. He stays if Max goes to Mercedes, which is part <laughs> of the rumor. And the other rumor is that Carlos Sainz will take the Red Bull drive. I've heard. I've, listen, can I be honest? I Today, I heard Alonzo to Red Bull. Yep. Because he's a free agent. <laughs> You'll and then there's all. a rumor going around like two hours before we hopped in here about Sebastian Vettel being wooed at a retirement. I heard that. <laughs> they were saying about him talking about coming out. And I wonder if Red Bull would go that route instead of Aston Martin or Mercedes because they seem to like guys who already know what it's like to work in their system like they did with Ricardo and they did with Coldheart before and they did with Weber. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> You know what? They kept I'm surprised that rumor while. hasn't started. Coulthard? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. He actually, there's a video on YouTube of him taking the new yeah, actually. the new Red Bull out, and he was what, like a couple of tenths off of what those current Red Bull drivers. Let's get him doing. back. He he wears the fire suit with the sweater tied over his shoulders. <laughs> but yeah, that, that video was impressive. He was not far off the time, like Max's time. No. Did you see that crazy drone they got now? Yes. Red Bull? 200 mile an hour drone. That's impressive. That's impressive. They should be using that to cover WRC. Because like, you oh, know yeah. how WRC is notoriously hard. It's a, like, it's the yeah, one it's of the most woods. difficult things you can try to cover. It's not a loop. It's a narrow road. Just GoPros. Yeah. Through yeah, your rally. <laughs> WRC is rally. Through the middle so of nowhere. No, that has no infrastructure of any kind. Well, they're probably so. looking at that. Yeah, and they honest. had to use they had to use helicopters, which were a fortune. And that sport they still do. Yeah, and the sport doesn't make nearly enough money to afford that kind of stuff. So, like drones, man. no, no, that'd be cool. The, the, their their what, downfall what? will be, um, they won't be able to live stream. I know you'll know what I mean, but like the the one I saw, there's there's a couple of videos of the drone following the Red Bull around, and the one I watched first before you even sent it was Max was getting to sit with the pilot of the drone. And uh, he was going over, like, he has to know when Max is braking because he has to slow down actually before Max does because the <laughs> drone won't make the turn and they're talking about all this stuff. But that was downloaded footage. For you to be flying that around all over the track and the tracks are big, for that to be <laughs> streaming back in real time. You'd have to almost be an F1 pilot to keep up with the F1 driver. Well, yeah, but there's some art to it, right? With I don't think people realize, like, even an F1, when they flip to the aerial footage or they flip to the helicopter that's flying around, the whole race is actually on a bit of a delay and it's not live solely. Yeah. So some of these cameras can keep up and it looks live. So like the helicopter is the worst one. It's not delayed at all, but by not being delayed at all, it's five seconds. So we got to make all the other the rest of the feed five to six seconds so that we can, like, I would not want to have to man just to wrap that around. <laughs> <laughs> would just be... Just run yeah. wires to all the drones so they're not wireless. <laughs> you see all the tangles? Yeah. Th- three kilometers of cable on a giant <laughs> reel that's 50 feet <laughs> tall. <laughs> 200 miles an hour just goes by just to oh, man, some yeah. guy. <laughs> There's just like unraveled boxes of Cat 6 all over the track on every corner. <laughs> just going... <laughs> 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 oh gosh there's some sort of spaceship over top of it that's like the command center that all the cables are running. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, here you go Gary look you're just you're coming up with great ideas dropping Think down from the international space station oh man I was thinking like independence day just hovered above the yeah. the, the bottom opens up there's the big the big oracle sign and all the little drones come flying out of the bottom and then who's standing on the all deck of- Bernie Eccles <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, any, all the shots but... from far back just have this big shadow going around the track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it just, just looks like an alien invasion. <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> People awesome. think the aliens uh, are here to d- always going to show up and destroy the earth, but really all they want to do is just cover some racing. <laughs> They're really into broadcasts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the broadcast. <laughs> we have the broadcasting rates for the universe. Yeah. The NHL will announce that they have the broadcasting rates for the next ten Millennium. years. Yeah, yeah, next thousand yeah. years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, Bush League listeners. Today's episode is brought to you by Man Made Underwear, the solution to those dreaded bad underwear days. That's right. Picture this four best friends leave their careers in finance to revolutionize men's underwear. Why? Because they were tired of settling for uncomfortable undies. So they embarked on a 10 month journey armed with nothing but a general disdain for their current underwear situation. And a a determination and a desire for comfort. And what did they come up with? The most comfortable boxer briefs ever. Made from luxurious Modal fabric, these boxer briefs are over three times, three times, three times softer and more breathable than cotton. Plus, they're designed with a man sack to keep everything in place and separate from your thighs. It's like going commando, but with support. And let's talk about attention to detail. These guys obsessed over every aspect of their product, ensuring it maintains its shape throughout the day and even after laundry day. But wait, there's more. Man-made isn't just about underwear. They're all about providing quality essentials that men need. Without the BS, they don't. So whether you're at the office, hitting the gym, or just lounging around at home, man-made underwear got you covered Quite literally. So, do yourself a favor and upgrade your underwear game. Head over to manmadebrand.com today and tell them the Bush League podcast sent you. So, boys, should we jump right into the Bush topics? Because last I looked, there's about a thousand of them. I can't see why not. <laughs> well, Bush, stop it. It's a good problem to have. <laughs> As always. Very good problem to have. Well... <laughs> well, it is, and it isn't, because normally it implica- implicates us in something we've done in the past. Surely we've run out of it. Must be, it must be all out no. there now. <laughs> no, no, Pr- no, they're not. We probably kept a few in reserve. <laughs> That's just between the four of us that have never gotten past the four of us. Thirty-six <laughs> comments on the Bush topics post. Holy sweet whistling. <laughs> All right, we'll get going. We'll get going. Holy sweet whistling. Holy sweet whistling. <laughs> holy sweet whistling. Holy sweet whistling. I, I could have said holy sweet whistling dying, but <laughs> <laughs> that's not a tongue twister. What holy sweet whistling dying? No. Holy sweet whistling. <laughs> Whistler's mother? What? <laughs> <laughs> Question number Creepy. one. What is everybody's favorite saying of Cameron's? <laughs> Holy <laughs> sweet whistling. <laughs> hey, I, I have a few weird ones. But we're not, we're not going to deny that. Not well, going to deny that. That's my favorite. <laughs> In theory, is probably one of the things I say the most. <laughs> this is going to work, right, Cam? Right. Oh, yeah. In theory. My favorite, my favorite. Mother it's not a real question, but my favorite of Cam's is, uh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Classic Cameron. Yeah. All right, Jillian. Jeremy says, whoa, baby. <laughs> oh, <gosh>. We forgot <laughs> to go. <laughs> we forgot to. Yeah, that did not go well for me. Um, <laughs> there's actually a question about that in here yeah. <laughs> question number one uh, from Jillian if you could see two wrestlers from any time period any time period wrestle in a main event who would you pick 
So Cameron, I'm thinking like a past versus present here in their prime, right? Like, oh, oh, past. Oh, wow. I got it. Okay. AJ Styles versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in his prime. <laughs> that is not bad at <clears throat> all. Right? <laughs> like, my, my heart says, now wait for it, Cam. My heart says Sting versus The Undertaker. From the 90s. My head says... Brian Danielson versus Bret Hart. Oh, wow. That would, oh, wow. Yeah, that, that would be, yes. a, that would be a clinic. That yeah. would be a clinic. Oh man, that would be. Holy mother. That's good. Yeah. Mr. Godfrey. Um. <laughs> 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 the uh Rougeau brothers <laughs> <laughs> oh that uh, is awesome tell the people well, yeah, their names say Gary Not, you gotta tell the Rougeau brothers names oh man Jacques mm -hmm. uh huh uh huh, uh -huh. and Plant <laughs> And what? And plant. <laughs> yeah, plant. I almost didn't. Kenny, I almost didn't make Ken? that one. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Jacques and Raymond. And Raymond. <laughs> Go on, Gary. You got. Je m'excuse, Raymond. <laughs> you, you got the tag team. No, who else? Okay, Russo brothers versus. Um, I don't really know the modern tag teams. The. The Usos, I guess. Brothers versus oh. brothers. <laughs> wow. That would actually be pretty good. Would it? Yeah. It actually, would be good Gary's like, cool. it actually would. That'd be interesting. Because the, the, the Usos are high flyers and the Rougeos were just ground and pound kind of. Yeah, that would actually be a half decent match. What about uh what, what about Young Bucks versus the Rockers? <laughs> Ooh. Ah. The Young Bucks versus <laughs> Jericho and Storm. Back in the day. Ex the Thrill Seekers. Uh, yeah. I was going to say extra points how, to tell How me young that. are the Young Bucks? They're not well, young they're not anymore. so much young anymore. They should just call them the Bucks. <laughs> they're EVPs. <laughs> they're EVPs. <laughs> they're <gonna drop> that. <laughs> the elderly Bucks. <laughs> the middle-aged Bucks. <laughs> the over-the-hill Bucks. The under-the-hill Bucks. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, it's your turn. Um, Papa Shango versus uh, Gilberg. <laughs> <laughs> Best match ever. Oh, I, I love just Papa remember Shango Gil more than I <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking of someone old school, and I'm like, who's wild and old school? I'm like, Papa Shango. And then I was like, <laughs> who's wild? <laughs> I have one of his weird voodoo hats over in the corner. <laughs> with the with the bones on it and stuff, and he signed at the top of, course of it. You do. Yeah. <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course, <laughs> you ain't got any Rougeau brother stuff though, do you? <laughs> oh nay, nay. Oh, he, does. he has the yes, Mountie. I do. Oh my soul. He has the Mountie. I shouldn't have, be surprised. I have a Mountie um, action figure. I've got a Mountie uh, mint on card, and I've got a Mountie and Jimmy Hart dual signed eight by ten. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Go himself. ahead, Gary. Try to get another one over on him. <laughs> <laughs> what came up the other day? I watched. It was the. Uh, it was the clip of Mr. Perfect when he he threw the football. Ah, uh, to and himself. He run, and he runs. He and it's this it? big In the music, and he event. keeps like. Yeah, and he keeps like looking up and he runs to the other end of the field and catches it. <laughs> yeah. Throws it to himself. Yep. The it best is, is he so throws good. it and then stalls for a second and looks at the guy like. Yeah, I forget the NFL player. And then runs on. Then runs back. Back. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I don't want to go down the, the, the next question's a wrestling question. <laughs> Becky, it's a different type of wrestling question, but Becky would like to know. 
which wrestler had the best movie from the 80s or 90s? Ooh. Well, it's got to go to Hogan mm. and Zeus because of No Hold Bird. No Holds Bird. No mm. Holds Bird. Or Terry Funk and Roadhouse. <laughs> Man, he was good in Roadhouse, though. You're right, he was. He was. <laughs> What else was there? That's pretty much all the movies I know wrestlers Well, were no, tri- Triple H was in Blade. John Cena. <laughs> Cena? The Marine. What's that? Uh, <clears throat> so was The Miz, The Marine. What's that David Arquette movie that Jerry Lawler's in? <laughs> Ready to Rumble. Ready to Rumble, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I it's watched not- that like five times. <laughs> What's his name? It's not Jerry Lawler. What's his name? They call him King. I will crown it's a Jerry, you. It's oh, a Jerry was... Lawler ripoff is what it is. But oh, it, it, isn't it him? It is. It's not no. him? No. Oh, no, it's I, one, another oh, I thought no, it was they're, him. They're totally, they're totally oh. ripping off Jerry Lawler. That was the point oh, of the character. Okay. Oh, 100%. It, it was all WCW yeah. guys. Yeah. Oh. I forgot about Ready to Rumble, Jay. That was a good one. Uh, he, <laughs> there's that part where they're all happy because Sting's there. Hit me, hit me. And Sting hits the guy, and that's the other guy. He goes, hit me too, hit me too. And he kind of looks at the camera and like, all right. Oh, wow. and hits the other guy. <laughs> yeah, ready to rumble, gets honorable mention. Uh, Undertaker was in yeah. Suburban Commando with Hulk Hogan. Oh, wow. What, a, what about Piper? Uh, oh, he's in that alien movie. The one where he says, I'm here to chew bubblegum. And- yeah. Oh, what's the name of that one? I can't think of which one it was. Uh, oh, Tyson's probably... He's actually... He's got it. He's got, <laughs> got it. Get it. He's got the DVD. Are you kidding me? We need to find something he don't have. <laughs> Mr. Nanny. <laughs> oh, that was a horrible movie. Oh, it was so bad. Okay, here he is. Here he is. Wait. Okay. What is it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> They, yeah, they live. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There he is in all his glory. Oh, wow. <laughs> Unreal. John Carpenter, Just right? Random. Oh, yeah. Carpenter. What was his name? Nada in the movie. Nada. Not a chance you're going to make it out. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah, Gary, that's a good. I might switch my answer. Ah, but Hogan was also in Rocky. Yeah. Yeah, he was Thunderlips, yeah. Thunder. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Nanny. Dad, Gary, he said, Gary just said that while no, you were Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, that was good, too. <clears throat> Those are the only wrestling movies I somewhat remember. Then she also asked as a follow-up, uh, which movie starring a wrestler was your favorite? So it's not necessarily, she asked which wrestler had the best movie, but which movie was your favorite? I'm going to stick with the same one I had before. No holds barred. <laughs> Yeah, that's no the first time barred. we ever saw the six-sided ring. So They Live was good. It actually has me thinking now, answering that, that I should rewatch that. Um, he was <laughs> uh, he was in another one called Hell Comes to Frogtown. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> I watched that <laughs> half a dozen times. Um, the, <laughs> they're... Uh, Earth is basically doomed. It's Armageddon. Whatever disease has gone around, all the men have died. There are no men. There's only women. And then there's these giant frogs ruling the world. <laughs> but there are no women, so like we, they can't have offspring. And then here comes Roddy Piper, the only living man. And... uh <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll let you fill in the rest of it. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That sounds good. Yep. Yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna pick the obvious answer then, the rock. Yeah. And oh, Fast Scorpion. and Furious <laughs> whole franchise. Fast and Furious. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go with the Tooth Fairy, but that's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The yeah, game plan. About the rock. <laughs> Can't believe that, but he did. Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. All, he's been in one or two. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's, it's almost like I've stopped, even though he's back again. And like, I will say kudos because he's been back every show for like three weeks straight, four weeks straight, because it's not like he's not busy. But um, yeah, but it's almost like over time he's been in movies and stuff so much. I've switched from thinking he's a wrestler to thinking he's an actor. 
who sometimes yeah. wrestles no, instead exactly. of a wrestler like, who started acting. You know what I mean? I wouldn't. Con- I don't. I yeah, don't yeah. consider him a wrestler anymore, really, <laughs> for the most part, because he's never around. But yeah, I get. What yeah, you and mean. he's been around a lot and stuff. So yeah. Um. There's a lot of these. We'll keep on trucking. Blake would like to know if you could press a button for the world to go back to a time before smartphones and social media. Do you press the button? Well, if we did, I think we would oh, be lucky. Wouldn't we just We'd disappear? Be a, We'd be, <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing would be vaporized. Yeah. <laughs> I'm torn, though. I'm, I'm the, very torn. It would be like Back to the Future. You're watching your hands slowly like disappear. <laughs> <laughs> it's the butterfly effect. Oh, true. true. You yep. change that. What else are you changing? Right. <laughs> yeah. Gary Tyson could actually be owning Red Bull. <laughs> Who knows? Behind me would definitely not exist. That's all been done through online, (laughs) social media. Yeah. Would Red Bull even exist? Man, I don't know. (laughs) A lot of these companies... Probably not. We think social media and just people being addicted to their phones and stuff, so your gut reaction is like, oh yeah, press the button, but then part of it is like... There's only so much advertising in the old world. It's like... Two and a half minutes but, per show per channel. Mm-hmm. But the thing was, <laughs> Red Bull actually had a driver in 1994. I actually read about they that. They sponsored <laughs> one driver. Mm-hmm. I was reading about that. Yep. <laughs> and it was Gerhard Berger. <laughs> and he actually had the Red Bull and he had it in his hand. And Bernie Ecclestone said, What is that? You can't take that up there with you to the podium. What are you doing? And took it from him and wouldn't let him go up with it. <laughs> There's a. Uh, Red Bull, we're going to go on a side note here. We're supposed to be talking about social media. (laughs) But Red Bull, I know what Gary meant about social media and Red Bull, but like Red Bulls, they used to have TV commercials. I haven't seen a Red Bull television commercial in years because they don't have to. Yeah. No, exactly. Their name is on two F1 cars. Their name is on a stock car. Their name is on an Indy car. Their name is on airplane races. Their name is on parachutes. Their name is on... The space jump thing that the guy did yes. down to the, they just sponsor <laughs> stuff that ends up going famous or viral, Super and then their name Australia. is on everywhere. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like it's genius. And then you're watching all these videos like motocross racing, and guess who's on the, what's on the guy's helmet? Red Bull, right? Like Red it's, Bull. Yeah, yeah. They'd rather sponsor yeah, extreme athletes and stuff and fast sports than they would actually. Oracle has one of those. <laughs> have you seen that ex- extreme um like the extreme sailboat <laughs> racing have you seen that yeah like yeah, the high yeah. speed and it's oracle red bull sailing it's like one a yacht, of the teams yeah and it's it's actually yeah like that yacht yeah it's on tsn every once in a while now and it's actually like way more entertaining to watch than i thought like there was nothing else on <laughs> i was like oh gosh <laughs> like, they're really uh yeah Use promo code Bush League. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sponsor ourselves a seal. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know yeah. if I. Uh, I'm I'm not pushing the button. No, I'm not. Pushing I'm, it. Not pushing it. I'm not pushing. <laughs> it. I, I want to push it only because that time period is when I was younger, and who doesn't want to go back to when they were younger and there was no stress, right? You know what I mean. Big thing I, used I to know, be like, like my my gut says to. Like my gut reaction is to push it, but when I sit and think yeah. about it, I don't know that I should push it. The the big thing, right. like when you were a kid, which for me is like you know before this time, was like walking up the road to the corner store to rent a game, and then if you're mm-hmm. really big feeling, you'd go to Blockbuster and get a game. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and those were your you get uh, one game or five, and uh... <laughs> yeah, and you'd rent it, and then your buddy down the street would be like, "Hey, man, I'm going out." Side, you come in and you'd be like, Well, yep, you know, okay, people are addicted to stuff, but kids are, I'll tell you, in this house, like kids are getting back outside again. Like Maddox, I oh, built yeah? that little rink, Maddox was on it every day, and if not twice, up until this warm weather hit, you know what I mean, and ruined <clears> the <throat> rink. Um, and then he's got one <laughs> yeah. of those fake, even if he's not outside, I'm air quoting, <clears throat> he's in the garage. And he's shooting balls and he's trying to Michigan and the net's set up in there. And like, he's ruined my garage door, but it's awesome. 
You know what I mean? And he's, <laughs> he would sit out, like kids are getting back outside and parents are realized, but we went through a 10 year period of, That's there are, be there are that, kids but... that are teenagers now that are iPad kids. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. now people are going, oh crap. And now they're limiting screen time and now they're, but when it was new, people didn't know they didn't or think about it was that. an easy babysitter time. or I don't know. No, because when when I was growing up, you had the one TV in the house, <laughs> and if your parents were there, they were running that TV, yeah. so you just went outside yeah. because what they were watching was terrible. <laughs> but we also oh. did stuff outside, right? Like we played floor, we played road hockey endlessly, and we <clears throat> oh yeah, built forts in the woods biked when we were everywhere. kids, and we biked everywhere, and we you knew who was at everybody's house because all the bikes were ditched in the yard, like it was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> different time. Jeremy's age. He hangs up with these two guys, I'm telling you, and they played like golden eye. Like, <laughs> yeah. like he was going at a style. I don't know. Just don't know those lads. Were just, yeah. They totally wrecked him, just turned him into one of those last key Yeah. Kids. It's funny. We talk about that. It's like screen time. And I'm like, you know, I had a lot of screen time when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> we also. What time, Gary, what time did we yeah. get off? I got off at 4.30. You got home around five and then we'd stay there till about eight <laughs> <laughs> sounds about right there was a time too yeah. where sometimes uh, till his mom got off at nine there <laughs> yeah, was there yeah. was a time where we switched to perfect dark for a while and those were darker <laughs> times there for sure <laughs> 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 nothing beats nothing beat 007 <clears throat> no we, nothing beat so Goldeneye. well i know we gotta move but I, I was gonna just because we were talking about this <laughs> i was talking to a guy at the at the church the other day there and the youth group the church I go to, there's probably like, well, they, they, on a good Sunday, they'll have like a hundred kids in a youth service. A hundred? Oh yeah. That's that's awesome. Big, big, big crowd, a crowd of kids, but like they can't get anybody in the band. So like probably like, it was like six, seven years ago. Um, I, I worked with the youth pastor to get, to get a, to get a band started and we kind of had tryouts and, Basically, whoever showed up got in and <laughs> and worked with them for probably like six to eight months. They never did. They never played on a Sunday, but we just learned songs and practice and practice and learn and practice. And some of these kids were like learning instruments at the same time. So we get that started. And then then there was a band because like the they didn't have music or anything. They just played games and then the pastor spoke and that was it. So eventually we had this band going. But now some of those kids who I kind of work with are all kind of, they're in university now because, you know, like I say, it was six or seven they years ago. <laughs> and there's just like, they're like, they've had some people come in to replace them. And the idea was like, my thought was like, if I was, when I was a kid and I saw a band doing that, I was like, that's cool. I want to do that too. So like I watched you guys playing at, at boom road. And it was like, I wanted to play too. And I wanted to learn and all that. So I got into it. But like for a youth group that size, there's like nobody getting into it. And it's like, there's just not as many people learning instruments, you know, man, like it's just the, not- the hours we spent. And as if, especially yeah. when I was at boom road, like I, I, <clears throat> I didn't get better until later. I'm aware I was very reliant on the music in front of me and you know what I mean? <clears throat> but we spent hours with those kids after service jamming with those kids. Mm-hmm. And the goal was eventually Gary. I remember having a conversation with Paul one time that the goal was that we got to sit down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know right. I mean? yeah. Like, yeah. Eventually, yeah. I'm going to be like, all right, here you go. <laughs> Here's yeah. the- here you go. I'm going to sit down now. Yeah, yeah. Like it wasn't uh yeah. Like well, you, and you, that sort of that sort of went on like where I am, but like for a youth for a hundred kids, it's like, man, I thought there'd be like five guitar players wow. and five keyboard players and five drummers. It's not the same. I think a lot of it is sports because a lot of kids play a ton of sports now, and and that's cool, that's great, or what? But like, it's very demanding when there's so much of it, and it's all the time, it's all weekend, it's all the time. Anyway, but yeah, I've noticed that like. Nobody plays anything. There's like a very, you should no one's ask, getting into it. You should ask how many of them know how to make beats. <laughs> well, yeah. There, that there's might just be a different idea yeah. of. Yeah. The, Which is, the other thing, so similar but dissimilar, is a few years ago I got called into the office 
Jeremy, you'll like this one. Ooh. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's either like like there's going to be very rarely was like some kind of praise given it's usually like uh-oh you know what i mean and uh, so i'm sitting there thinking like oh gosh what did i say or do now that some parent called you know what i mean <clears throat> and he's all of a sudden he looks at me and he goes um so you're here next year and i said yeah i'm here next i appreciate that thank you and he said yeah <laughs> rumor is you can read music Oh boy! Rumor is you are correct. It's like, uh, and here it comes. Just because I can doesn't mean I want to. <laughs> uh, so there I was with two grade ten music classes, and part of me thought, "Here's the deal: is I like music. You guys know I like music. I'll make the best out oh, of yeah. this." But like my degrees in history, like I like history, political <laughs> science, sociology. That's what I took in school. That's what I wanted to teach, and. uh yeah, so next thing you know, I got... Don't know a whole lot about... Oh, dear. Yeah. <coughs> Composers from the Baroque clean, period. Cleaning a, clean a trombone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And everybody, like, please don't share your reeds, guys. That's disgusting. Um, Here's how you empty the spit valve. Yes, yes. And I had to learn, you know what I mean? Just because I can read music doesn't mean I know how to teach this kid the tuba, right? And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I learned real I'm quick. You called Jeremy. But the disappointing thing was like, well, this is all right. I'm looking at the outcomes for this course. Like I can make this like technically on paper. I could use, there's a chapter here. Like I could use rush and dream theater for a thing. <laughs> and try to show the music is cool. Here's the issue. <clears throat> 80% of those kids don't want to be there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, no but I got excited, class. Cameron, under the impression that, like, well, this is great. Like, it's fine. Like, I'll get passionate about music. They'll be passionate. This will be awesome. I'll make music fun. They don't want to be there. They don't want to be there. Matter <laughs> of fact, it was always. A I had one course. kid that was playing for the Wildcats, up and down, up and down, up and down, and I just threw him on the bass drum because <laughs> it just wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't happening. <clears throat> then I tried to give him the whole metaphor of like. Like, do you not know that next hit is coming? Like, do you not know? Yeah. He's like, I just can't get it. I said, like, so when you hit a one-timer, <laughs> you time the puck? And he's like, oh, yeah, so how do you know when to swing? Well, I know when the puck's going to be. Yeah, so do you not know that the beat is going to get here? Like, it's on its way? It's just like, and in take the, the end, music. Cameron, I, oh, man, I had him wear his helmet, and I was hitting him on the head. A split second before he was supposed to hit the drum <laughs> at one point to get him on to the, and it was like, it was just a miserable, it should have been fun. Yeah. But. Just take the music away and be like, you ever tap your foot to something? Yeah, we'll yeah. just do that. <laughs> <laughs> just do that. Just with the stick. Yeah, just do that. Even I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm the least musical person you guys know. <laughs> well, Jeremy, I thought you'd have a full, so you feel like you're starting over. Is that what? Oh man! Well, it's just like there's no one getting into it, I, and I mean, there's been like there's been I, there's been some amount of like kids seeing it and thinking like, yeah, that's cool. Like maybe I could get into that, but not nearly as much as I thought. It's not like like when when we were younger. Like think Boom Road Youth. I mean, when I was going there, how many were going there? Like twenty or thirty, if that. At one point, no, but at one point, <laughs> Boom <half>. Road. <laughs> yeah. But Gary Cameron, like fifty percent musician. <laughs> yeah, but there was there was a, yeah. a period, though a brief period under Pastor Keith that we must have been at sixty. Oh, could we have been that much? Oh yeah, no, no but that. We might have, there was uh, there was yeah. a, and it might have just been one year. It might have honestly just been one year, but there was a point where I swear half of NSCR was there. Me, Brad, Gary, Melissa, we were all coming up from town. <laughs> Mike, Shane, if everybody Dougie, showed up, at Justin, Warren. Tyler, right. there was quite the crew there, man. Wow, seeing some names I haven't thought of in a long time. Yeah. So Jay, do you just like get up and shred a bunch and say, "This is cool"? <laughs> yeah. Who wants to be cool yeah. like me? Who wants yeah. <laughs> me at thirty six now, standing up there? Yeah. A dad. <laughs> Just do that, guys. This is yeah. cool. <laughs> Playing behind his head. Who wants to be cool? <laughs> Are you cool? This is in the music that you like or you should like. <laughs> <laughs> 
you may not be able to do this, but you'd be cooler <laughs> if you could. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, cooler if you did, man. Imagine Taylor Swift's new album had this in it. <laughs> oh, speaking of which. It hasn't worked. I don't know why. <laughs> Have you seen the clip of the Disturbed concert? And the lead singer of Disturbed stops everything? I did see that. Somebody yelled that Taylor that. Swift sucks? Yeah, he took right up for her. He took up for her and he said, listen, there's yeah. a bunch of young girls out there listening to Taylor Swift and going to her concerts, and here's the one pop star who stands on stage, writes her own stuff, and plays her own instruments. You leave that girl alone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I'm, and man, like, I've never, I don't get on board with that whole, you know, hate train. I'd like, you look at what they're doing. I'm like, what are they doing? What does she do? That's like, what Nothing. do you have to bash? <coughs> What? <laughs> she gets up and performs well, and writes her songs and, and performs them. And, and it might not be my cup of, of tea, but like, like yeah. she won that Grammy this year again and uh, people were upset, but it reminded me when people were upset when Beck won it. And it was like, <laughs> were you upset that Beck won it or were you upset Beyonce didn't? And then they had this big comparison of Beck produced his own album, played all his own instruments, 14 instruments, was the only songwriting credit, wrote everything himself, Recorded it, mastered, produced it himself. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Beyonce, like, 14 producers, 18 songwriters. Yeah. Didn't like play some, any some of these. Gosh. Right. And it's like, it's like, I hate to break it to you, but some of these artists like Taylor Swift are more talented than your favorite band. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think you'd be surprised. It takes a huge yeah. amount of talent and, and work ethic to do that. <laughs> and writes her own and stuff. And probably has the bank account to prove it. Well, yeah. with the Grammys, right? <laughs> yeah. Other musicians voted on that. Right. So, like, exactly. I process this. Dave Grohl had a vote. Who do you yeah. think he voted for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Just, that, that's right. I know who he didn't vote for. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like I put Dave Grohl in that same sort of like extremely hard worker, you yeah. know, like controls a lot of stuff, his own process. Own yeah. Exactly. Like, it's, it's, it's the same thing. So when it was Beck versus Beyonce, um, in the same time, actually, it was might have been the year before Beck that Beyonce had an album, but Arcade Fire won Best Album of the Year. Uh, yeah. And people still yeah. don't know who in Canada we do, but they won because I'm telling you, other musicians heard this thing and were super impressed that like you guys wrote all your own stuff. You recorded your own stuff. Yeah. You played how many instruments on that album? <laughs> like they're impressed, right? And then there's Beyonce yeah. who played none of her own instruments, didn't write any of her own songs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anyway, it's I don't want to get on an anti anybody kick here, but it's just to say that like just because it's pop, like there's 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 artists who totally fit that stereotype. Yeah. And there's artists who don't. They don't all it's not all yeah. the same, you know what I mean? You're allowed to not like her music. <clears throat> yes. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like it's okay. But I thought that was cool. I saw that clip too, and I was like, "That's cool," you know. It's like he yeah, gets he it. stopped everything. <laughs> to uh, next question is a complete change of topic. <laughs> okay, who's your favorite? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tim Sutton would like to know: Should McDonald's bring back the McPizza? Yes. Heck yes. <laughs> <laughs> I loved the that everybody pizza. did. I I. Everybody knows that I'm like the pizza, like Katie said <laughs> just tonight. She's like, <laughs> do you ever notice when some people see food and they get a big smile on their face and their mother goes, well, yeah. She goes, Cameron only does that for pizza. It doesn't matter what kind, as long as it's pizza, <laughs> which I have to totally agree with. But I was old enough to remember the McDonald pizza and it was. It mwah. was. Now, mind you. <laughs> Absence makes the heart grow fonder. And I don't know how <laughs> yeah. I don't know how old I was yeah. when it was kind of banished. I was eight, nine, ten years old. But I have good it memories. Like been. like I remember going through the drive thru and my mother getting me the McPizza because I wanted the McPizza and that's what I sat in the parking lot. It would have been about ninety two, ninety three, <laughs> I think. Anywhere between ninety one and ninety three. It was somewhere okay. in there is when it was still I think well, around I think uh, I think it was later than that because I, I remember like I remember when we moved to Miramichi when I was really young and I can remember it uh, being at the McDonald's in Douglastown. And so that oh, would have wow, been 96. Yeah. So 
I don't know why they got rid of it. I don't understand. I don't either. I, I had a conversation about two weeks ago with somebody about this, so I think there's something in the ether. Mm. Listen, People are getting nostalgic listen, and wanting if, it. If we just need to get rid we need to get Rick and Morty to get in on this because they brought Sesquan Sox well, down because of their, their just episode. Just so you know. I do. My memory, um, my memory, though, is that we ordered the McDonald's pizza and you had about a 20-minute wait and everybody else was done eating before you got your pizza. <laughs> this is true. And sometimes 100%. my parents were like, no, you can't have the pizza this <laughs> time. we got to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Jeremy, you might remember, but at, at almost all the World Junior Games, including the final... There was a guy dressed as a giant pizza slice with all these signs <laughs> above his head. That's, that's Tim who asked us the question. His goal is to get them a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's oh, man. That's great. Uh, Cameron. Uh-oh. Brett would like to know. <sighs> oh, Lord. I'm just... Brett. Yeah, but no, but I'm just nervous about our deep dive into this. Th- <laughs> Thoughts on the upcoming F1 season? I know Cam will oh. have lots to say. So we have one confirmed person interested in this. Can we talk about it every episode now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Montreal will be the best Grand Prix of the season. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen, brother. <laughs> you know what? I hear these four guys are going to be going to that <laughs> and they will be escorted out by security. <laughs> Someone's coming home with a piece of McLaren. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> do you notice Cameron oh, slowly oh. disappearing? Like his, his camera. <laughs> there we go. Not too low. <laughs> Well, hello. <laughs> Let's see those yeah, man made. those man made. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I wish. I almost wish you hadn't said anything, and it would have just been like. <laughs> well, I thought I'd better say because I have to edit the video, right? And when the frame was now touching his chin, I'm like, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> but to answer Brett's question, it is going to be a very good year, and it's going to be a lot of silly season and. When all the musical chairs mm. stop with all the drivers, wherever they're going to go, because it always, like we said, one driver for years, it was like, oh, one guy leaves a team, no big deal. One guy leaves a team, no big deal. Now it's kind of like eight different guys can go to eight different teams. So it's yeah, be cool. there's a lot of. Uh, will there will there be a race that Max doesn't yes. win? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, there will be, and it's going to be Montreal, probably. No one minds. It's going to be Lando <laughs> Norris. <laughs> In Montreal, with Jeremy <laughs> in the crowd, openly weeping. <laughs> Listen, I'm not anti. Racing is the the fan base around racing. I feel different uh, than hockey. Oh, it's like, different. It's very yeah. Different. Like I, I'm not a, I'm not oh, anti yeah. anybody. Like there's no. nobody. No, no. I want exciting races again. Like yes, I'm a Red Bull fan, and I've I've been a Red Bull fan <laughs> since Cold Heart, right? Um, I've, yes, I've never, you I followed my driver if they've left, but I've never left Red Bull. You know what I mean? Like even Correct. when, when Seb was with Ferrari, it's like, well, I'm rooting for Red Bull, but Seb's in second. Let's go catch Lewis. You know what I mean? Like it was, <laughs> let's go. Yeah. It's, it's a anti. different thing. Yeah. It's different. So like, I'm not all anti. the teams. Yeah. I know what you mean. Cause like you watch hockey and it's just it, two teams of, of mm. 31 playing in their local, you can just only watch that team if you want and never see anything else. But in Formula One, yeah. you see everything all the time, all yeah, at the so same like, time. So, you know, it's kind of like you sort of get to know everybody equally and you sort of like even in a race where your team might not be well, doing a lot. I'm a Red Bull fan, but I want, I want Norris to do well. <clears throat> yes. You know no, what I mean? Exactly. Like if he won, that, if he won this weekend, thing, yeah. I'd be really happy for him. Like I wouldn't be. Well, see, for, for me, it's I, like. I hate I, last him. <laughs> you, you what? <laughs> Gary hates Yuki. Oh, half okay, grade. Yuki. Yeah. <laughs> Gary's George a hundred Russell. Badger fan. I can tell. You hate Daniel Ricardo. Yuki. <laughs> oh my gosh. Amanda uh, loves yikes. Daniel Ricardo so much it's starting to freak me out. It's because so of tether. his accent. Hundred percent. It's the smile. Oh, yeah. the smile, He's man. Did a... you see all like? So like the new opening of one. Like him. there's there's George right. <laughs> yeah, and there's, there's Lewis. 
<laughs> and then there's Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Like, it's, it's just it's like i am the honey you can't badger. be mad at him <laughs> you can't be mad at him anyway gonna be a really interesting year i don't think red bull's gonna win everything um do i still think max is gonna take it yeah do i think mm-hmm. it's gonna be a more interesting year than last year with more yeah like he's not gonna win 14 in a row or anything i i no, I don't think so. I don't know. I think <laughs> I <might. laughs> no, we'll you know, know after this weekend <laughs> because we Jed is quite no a bit more. faster than Bahrain, right? So Jet we'll really faster. find out. I don't. I don't think you're going to see it on those tracks. I think Red Bull, where they always slip, is on a slower circuit where everybody's more equal. So I see like Monaco is going to be like a tight, twisty track. Those are the but tracks. Tell me this: that they they dominated on those last season. It wasn't until Singapore. Where all of a sudden they were like, what were they like fifth and sixth, <laughs> and then and then they yeah. were right back to like one second gap to everybody again. Like it was yeah. so random. That's kind of a sandbagging moment, I'd say yeah, for them. Maybe. Uh, Jeremy had commented on here, <laughs> wanting us to discuss how we all committed, how committed we've been to celebrating our night drink. <laughs> To which then Katie acknowledged, Jeremy, I can't even understand the question. (laughs) Which was basically her telling us she hadn't heard the last one without telling us she hadn't heard the last one. Right, (laughs) yeah. Jeremy responded to Katie. Cameron's nowhere to be found in this conversation, by the way. (laughs) Jeremy responded to Katie. Have you noticed Cam shouting, yeah, baby, before bed in the last two weeks? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to which then Katie responded, Jeremy, clearly I'm at least one episode behind. <laughs> she had no idea what I was talking about. So that told me, one, that she hadn't heard it, and two, that Cameron wasn't doing it. <laughs> Amanda then chimed in with, I have blankets and pillows waiting for Tyson on the couch when he springs this one on me. <laughs> Heather then chimes in and says, Jeremy, let's just say I've been sleeping with my kids a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <baby. laughs> then katie comes back in oh gosh there's more no then katie yeah, comes back in here. with jeremy i just listened had no idea you guys released more episodes <laughs> four episodes. I, I was definitely more than one episode behind thought cam could fill me in turns out he has no idea what <laughs> he didn't remember <laughs> <laughs> but either drink, drink or yeah baby is referring to Cameron you were on that episode <laughs> uh, see, that was the one where he was like glazed yeah, over yeah. Jeremy says yeah, he was checked sounds out. about right <laughs> Katie said I needed context night drink is akin to bed lunch <laughs> yeah <laughs> Fair, fair. Yeah, that's true. Jeremy, yeah. fair, Jeremy says, fair. Katie, sorry to clarify. I mean, sounds about right. Cam already <laughs> forgot what we talked about. Oh. <laughs> to which Katie responds, so- I knew what you meant <laughs> with a winky face. <laughs> <laughs> and a good time had by so, all. In, in my yeah. defense, which I never have any... I have had a few memory issues. Too many, too past. many night drinks. Too many night drinks. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> I was really hoping at least one of us, like in the quiet, like when the lights were shut, the quiet, when the lights were shut the- off, just <laughs> out top, just out top your lungs, like almost like a like a jackass kind of thing. Just yeah, baby. <laughs> so yeah. the next podcast, someone has a black eye. You don't understand what happened. <laughs> or stitches. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kim would like to know. It's not well, dating in your fifties. <laughs> I saw that one there. <laughs> um I'm I not. guess it would be maybe advice for someone starting to date again in their fifties. Yeah. Oh, oh. Which I just want to say, I think you've asked the wrong people. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah. If you're asking us for this kind of advice, (laughs) you have gone down the (laughs) wrong path. (laughs) Oh, Uh, gosh. For for good luck, I would recommend a drink every night. (laughs) 
followed by a hearty, yeah, yeah. baby. I can give you a website that has a list of stuff you can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> true enough, true enough. It depends if you're a guy, if you're a girl, if you're a guy. Obviously, you want to go to Manscape and Man Made. <laughs> yeah, enough. that's true. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's Fair actually enough. pretty good advice. Yeah. Yeah, if you're in your 50s. I like, like, yeah, I don't need, like, ooh. how's that any different than any other age? Well, well, well. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> some you're, things you're, are, and some way, things aren't. You're, you, you, listen, <laughs> listen, you're no longer on the upward trajectory at that point. You're kind of going toward the. Hey, this downward. body is a rocket, it's going up. <laughs> 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 this rocket ain't coming down. It's burning oh. out. <laughs> Gary's a fine wine. It's better with age. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> you want to date in your 50s? You find yourself a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Not space, a torpedo. Space mountain. Well, the, the, the oldest ride and the longest yeah. line. <laughs> they're, they're, so I can't believe I'm getting actually. So, like. <laughs> so, can we no, get No, but like when you get older, there'd be a whole lot of new rules to dating that maybe you don't. Because you know how, like, either A, you never got locked down at all. So you've somehow made it to your 50s without dating. Or B, <clears throat> something has happened in your life or whatever that now you're going to start dating again in your 50s, which is fair. The thing is, if you're going to start dating in your 50s and the other people you're dating are also in their 50s, <clears throat> chances are pretty good that all these new rules for dating that all the 20-somethings are doing don't apply to the people that you're dating anyway either because they don't know the rule new rules either. Is mm. that fair? They're probably in the exact same boat you are. Yep. Sure. Both terrified yep. and scared yep, to death. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, there you go. Do I have anything left to drink? My throat is so dry, I'm not going to make it. Unless you're yeah, going to date somebody <laughs> half your age. <laughs> well, if that's the case, Gary, <clears throat> that's fine. You need too. to be rich. <laughs> you need to be rich. <laughs> I, I, yeah, actually, to that point, I think you could be more open minded to the age gap because it's kind of like, you know, when you're younger, like yeah. the difference in age is a bigger deal. And then as you get older, it kind of doesn't really matter anymore. You know what I mean? I'm like, Fair enough. So no, there you go. It's, no, but like, 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 like back in the day, right? She's 19. He's 22. Oh, I don't know, guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's 40. She's 30. Yeah. Ah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Just a number. Like that tends to happen. Uh, Katie asked us, I'm a little scared of this one. Uh, oh gosh. Yeah. I don't, uh, <laughs> best trait slash worst trait about each other. More okay. fun if chosen by the other three. Oh, <laughs> Katie wants us to fail. She wants <laughs> to take down the podcast. <laughs> This reminds me of the warning labels we put on each other. <laughs> yeah, fair. Um, okay. Are, are we willing to go down the road, John? Uh, or are we willing to stay in the sidelines? Uh, how do we... I See, don't tell, have tell any me answers because I think you three are perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, not man. a first date, Tyson. <clears throat> I hate you all so this much. I love podcast. you. <laughs> People are going to see this podcast. It's three hours long and it's the last one they ever it's did. The last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the airing of the grave. I hate this, so much about this the rocket things is you about to burn. To <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, why don't we be nice and do at least the good things? Because the bad things are just, it would go wrong. So Fair the, enough. The one bad good things thing. would be funnier, but. The bad things. Well, then the bad things. <laughs> Obviously, you're gonna all come at me at once. So just hurry up and bring it. Oh gosh, I don't know See, if I can do there's this. So many, you can't pick one. <laughs> See, this is this is how she does. It. This is how they do well, it. This is how they crack us. <laughs> I'm quite sure we can all do it in a funny way. 
Oh, 100%. You know? <laughs> oh, but yeah, there's no way we can't. Because you know what? The the trait I hate about Gary the most is his sense of fashion, how he yes. pulls it off every okay. time. Okay. I, 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 Cameron, <laughs> this is my end to bring this up. Mikhail wants to know <coughs> what your obsession is with how Gary dresses. <laughs> there you go. Uh, because I'm, a t-shirt I'm jealous, and sweats. obviously. <laughs> so we we binged, listened to a bunch of old episodes. I'm going, like going back to the 20s. When we drove to Toronto and back. And it wasn't until you listened to a bunch of them on a 15-hour drive back to back to back that it was like, <laughs> yeah. Cameron's talking about Gary in a fedora. Cameron's talking about Gary in a dress shirt. Cameron's talking about Gary's hair. Cameron's bringing up the fedora again. <laughs> Cameron's bringing up Gary's fashion sense. There's like one of these episodes. days he's going to ask him on yeah. a date. Yeah, it's like you're like you're, you're working <laughs> your way I up. Didn't you're already? working your way up to ask him. <laughs> that's too funny. <clears throat> I don't think that's a negative. I think that's a positive. Gary does pull off stuff that In the rest of us can't pull off. That's a thing. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Man. Slap that smug look off your face. <laughs> <clears throat> there you go. There you go. <laughs> we all got nothing bad to say, and we all like Gary's fashion sense. So there you go. <laughs> wow, that was actually quite uneventful. I figured that was going to be the the throwdown. Well, here, let, here, let me. Okay. Oh yeah. It's not all, but go. like, it, so I don't look like a cop out. Let's see. Let's see if I can rapid fire this. <laughs> Let's see. Cop it. Yeah. Uh, but here we go, Cameron. Sometimes <laughs> you can be too nice. <laughs> but your but your good trade is you're such a fun loving guy. Right? Did you did you just use Chat GTP to say that? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. That is a fair. Uh, yeah. That okay, yeah, yeah. This is true. You know, with you, I always admired your ability to just let it go. Oh, you mean like my New Year's resolution to try to fart less? <laughs> flatulate, flatulate less. <laughs> flatulate less. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm okay. gonna back that Water, up. Uh, I'm gonna back that up. J- Jeremy has this ability, and sometimes. Jeremy, it makes no, but it, it, it makes me feel dumb. But in there, the, there you go. No, it's but, frustrating. It's annoying, no, isn't it? But in, <laughs> this is actually a compliment because, like, <laughs> it makes me feel dumb in the best way possible. Because I could have something bothering me that I would vent to Jay, and Jay does hear me out, but honestly has the attitude of, "Yeah, but what are we going to do about it?" So. <laughs> like we can't that's help right, it yeah. you can't change it you can't do anything about it it's not gonna so what are you gonna it brings your right you know, back that's a very down valid you be up here like oh. but sometimes you're probably <laughs> like oh. man that's cool that's really like taking the high road but like could you just could you just like back me up here and we can just go and do something about it <laughs> <laughs> except you're you're always right, right? like like what's like what can we do with anything about it <laughs> nothing not not without making it worse or awkward well. so <laughs> you know what I mean like it's not right. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I, I, so to that point, right? So, like, maybe, like, so if Cameron can be too nice at sometimes, Tyson, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm saying things that anyone in our lives would, would, it's public, you know, anyone would say this. So, <laughs> so you knowledge. can take things pretty serious, yeah. right? And then, and then we'll talk about it. And we have in the past. And then I'm probably like, ah, eh, you know, it's okay. And then it's kind of like probably somewhere in the middle is what you should do. <laughs> right? It's, it's, all, <laughs> right? You are right to the point of it's actually something I've been working on this year. Right. I'm just trying so to let take, stuff go because what am I going to do about it? Nothing. Like it's. But here's the thing with this stuff is if those, if those are the worst traits, those things are also part of the things that make you really good at what you do. Because if you take something serious and you work really hard at it, then you get good at it. And that's part of what, Makes you good at that too, right? But like you, you, you know. Well, it, some of these traits they overlap other with other things, right? Like if I take stuff seriously. <clears throat> oh yeah. Then like so as an example, if I take 
stuff seriously, then I really try my hardest when I edit the videos for this podcast. I want it to look nice. I take it seriously. Yeah. But if I take stuff too seriously yeah. outside of stuff like that, well, then I can get offended easy or get upset or have something bother me or not because I took but that seriously. But I want to learn to let some you, stuff go, but I still want to take the other stuff seriously. Well, there's been times you, you want to let it go, but still hold enough of it that yeah. it is still important. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's been times that yeah. I've talked about it and like you've kind of stuck on it. Like, no, I really want to do this. And it's like that, that was the right thing to do. You know what I mean? Like, like if we did it my way all the time, nothing would probably happen. <laughs> like, you know, I'd be like, oh, it's fine. You, you say that, but we're, <clears throat> you say that, but we're going to Montreal yeah. because of you. I don't know. Go. <laughs> it's like the grand yeah. mystery. My word is to make people spend money. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there, there's Cameron, there's Sison. So I'm going to commit to this. So Gary, I don't think I'm really stepping out of line with anyone with your life that's saying, uh, you know, just make a decision, man. Just do it. <laughs> just make a decision. Just, just, what you, you know? Our LA, children are starving, Gary. Just pick right? a place to eat. Here's all the options, Gary. I've even picked a few for you. Which one do you want to do? And you're probably like, oh, whatever you want, whatever you think. <laughs> right? Wow. Yeah. wow. There you go. I didn't know, I didn't know Dr. Bork was in today. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just committing to this because I don't want it to seem like we glossed over it, you know? <laughs> no, no, no. And I will say, like credit where credit, like the four of us are so different from each other, but yet lucky enough to have similar interests that I think that's why we've stayed friends for yeah. so long. And the beatings yes. we laid on each other. <laughs> we've, we've bonded over black eyes and stitches. So it's, you know. Well, you don't. May I just say, Gary's trait to turn from a mild-mannered person to a half-psychotic Clifford is quite impressive. Yeah. Well, the easiest decision to make is the one to slap you in the face. <laughs> that was in the back of the head. And you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I take it back. Gary's worst trait is his, his lack of moral compass when he's wrestling and he just, and he just beats you into the ground. That's hilarious. <laughs> Like, it, it, uh, it, this is what I'm saying. It's like the most craziest and wildest switch I've ever seen. It's like, hey, Gary, hey, <laughs> you side. you're all right. Next thing you know, you'll remember oh, my just, name. <laughs> just that was a character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it, there's it no like there was some there pent at up all. something going on because that was <laughs> <laughs> even to the but point of up, people don't know, yeah. but the setup like we all used to wrestle each other for fun. And me and Jeremy, and a few times in our life, me and Jeremy have spoken to each other without saying a word. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, you've done so the Cameron hadn't been thing, there yeah. and me and Jeremy were trying to lay out who's wrestling who and we just kind of looked at each other <laughs> and almost at the same time said well Cameron you haven't wrestled Gary as Clifford yet <laughs> I, can re- I can remember that like it was yesterday and just like and I had no <laughs> idea <laughs> right the just, without none. saying a word just to me and each other, you looking at like, each other like yeah because <laughs> that was code for I don't want to do it do you want to do it I don't want to do it <laughs> this is our free and pass. I remember that because you guys kind of looked at each other like you haven't wrestled Clifford I'm like no it's scary <laughs> what, wh- what could possibly go yep. wrong well we have the footage yeah ouch <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or we did <laughs> still have the marks <laughs> uh that is just my my ability. That is the good thing. My ability to take yeah. on a character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so emphatically. You know what? I never saw anybody sing so well on top of a ladder in my life. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Different character. Different character. <laughs> Not nearly as violent. You're oh, gosh. I forgot about that. <laughs> Somewhere over a ladder. <laughs> You're going to get us copyright oh. struck. <laughs> Don't get <laughs> Second time this week. Third time, technically, but that's did, another... Did you hear anything back from that, Tyson? No. Not that we need to talk about this. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. um, Gary, Heather posted a question from Caleb. And I think oh. Caleb is asking a question to Cameron, Jeremy, and myself. What is the craziest oh, thing go. you've ever seen my dad do? Oh, well, we I just, we've just wrongly sing on top of the step ladder <laughs> somewhere over the line. Tell us that has has uh, has Caleb seen those, Gary? Because because Heather has the 
No, I don't even know. I don't know if oh, we do. I thought she had. We, we have we have the raw footage on a tape. Somewhere. Oh gosh. Well, I don't think we have the there edited is a CDs. Facebook. The children need to know. There's pictures and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have the CD. I think that one was the backyard one, though. That wouldn't have been the singing on a ladder. Right. Gosh. That was the I want to see one. these and that don't want to see these. You know what I mean? I need to. I need to give Tyson that CD so he can actually like. Yeah, go yeah, totally. It. I know that. what you yeah. save I, it. I know what you mean, Tyson. But like, isn't it kind of like so far That's, ago now that it's kind of like we we understand how bad it is, and it's like who cares? Oh, we were oh, man, you know. Bad. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> I watched like really five bad. minutes of it and I just popped it out. I'm like, I can't even watch it. It's so bad. Yeah, it's <laughs> As time has gone, it's like the McPizza. Like I have fantasized this in my mind. And I feel yep. like I've been Guess in what? denial over it. And to me to sit good. down and watch it is just going to force me to yeah. realize, oh gosh. Maybe. Like, Maybe just leave it as the memory that you have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never meet your hero and never watch yourself yeah. wrestle. Yeah. So Caleb, buddy, your father was just a psychotic wrestler. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do yeah, this? I've never seen alter egos come out of someone like that. Nope. In my life. Like, it's nope. actually quite something. Dr. <laughs> Jen, look, look at him, like, the character I'm playing. Uh, I don't think that's a character, man. I think that's a psychopath. <laughs> um, there is more here. I don't know how we're going to make it. Uh, Brian <laughs> wants to know. <laughs> First, he asked, is cereal a soup? And we responded with, Brian, would you believe we've discussed that at one point already? And Brian said, yeah. it's either that or discuss climbing trees without thumbs or fingers. <laughs> and then he posted a picture of a goat and he said, goats do it. <laughs> uh, to which he is not wrong. Hey, can we... Uh we should ask if AVL wants us wants to sponsor us there. We can do it. I'll get on that one. AVL thing. Yeah. I'll get on that one for sure. <laughs> Why won't someone ask if we've seen the craziest things Brian has done? Oh, gosh. <laughs> that, that, that would be a whole show. <laughs> that could be a whole show in itself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and how do goats climb those trees without? <laughs> it's a good question. Yeah. So, I mean, so, so, so quickly to recap, cereal is not a soup, no, right? It's, it's own not. thing. It's its own category. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Jeremy's like, I just want okay. to recap this. I was like, <laughs> any controversial takes here, it's right? It's its own thing. It's its yeah, own okay. thing. We are sane, right? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> and honestly, I would like to know how the goat does that as well. Yeah. Like when you think about it, every other animal that climbs the trees has like paws and claws, but the claws move a little bit. Yeah. Primates but, have like thumbs. But they have and, hooves. Yeah, they have full on. Yeah. But they but have they, a hoof though, right? And there. it's got a, a spot between the but you hooves. see the way they're, what do they call them, antlers or horns or whatever things are? They're almost like. Uh, yeah, they're, yeah. They're almost built for like, you know, hook, like you kind of hook it on there and you pull yourself up by your head, maybe. <laughs> Do a little. Flip yeah. And- <laughs> yeah. Do a crossbody. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. Goats are like Olympic they athletes. Are. Gym- they are. They're That's gymnasts. why they're the greatest of all time. <laughs> the- <laughs> the- <laughs> That's right, Cam. That's very good. That's very good. <laughs> I think I broke Tyson with that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got him. Uh, Blake would like to know, what is our all-star fast food lineup? Burger from where? Chicken sandwich from where? Fries from where? Onion rings oh, from wow. where? Dessert, coffee. Oh, excuse me. Quarter, a quarter pounder from McDonald's. The curly fries from Arby's. Um, chicken nuggets would have to come from Burger King. Really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> you think you know somebody? Yeah. 
<laughs> You're going to take Burger King nuggets well, over McDonald's nuggets? Well, I've had McDonald's nuggets so much growing up, right? So it's a little different. Hey, I so still you've got lowered the- your skin? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say Wendy's. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Wendy's. Wendy's oh, chicken man, you, sir. See, you say about Wendy's. I, I was, I was actually going to go with the Baconator for the. Uh, right? Are you worried? Yeah. <laughs> they used to have say, a yeah. cheddar cheese actually. melt that they never brought back. Not the one with mushrooms in it. It had two patties, two slices of cheese, and then a cheddar cheese melt thing they put over top of it with strips of bacon. <sighs> You needed a, you needed like a Are fork for open? that thing, and they never brought it back. <laughs> you know what? I cut. I, I I really want there to be a Wendy's in Miramichi. I we, like. I we can need a Wendy's. I can tell you one of my since moving to Moncton, probably my single most favorite thing is there's a Wendy's here. <laughs> <laughs> but Jay, does it become well, less special when Wendy's I go to Moncton? Her. It does. No. no, 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 it totally does. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 no, yeah, it's uh, it, yeah, so like, but if we have an appointment not, in Moncton, we go to Wendy's. Yep, yeah, okay, but when I go to Moncton, I go to Arby's. Why? There's a I Wendy's. love Arby's, <laughs> uh, yes, but there's only one Arby's. If I went to Fredericton, I get Wendy's, if I go to Moncton, I get Arby's. I can't, I don't know if I've ever ate Arby's. <gasps> like ever? <laughs> you, what? Ever. Really? Oh, we need to do that, Jay. Yeah. We need the, you think you know all that? <laughs> huh? Interesting. It, there's an Arby's in Arby's Fredericton, right? No. Oh, no. really? It was closed. Wow. Yeah, it got closed and got turned into a Tim Hortons. We got Arby's. Yeah. Right. <laughs> not not Arby's. <laughs> they do make your hamburger a beautiful thing. Um, a and W has an underrated burger. They do. There's something the about teen? the oh the, or the mama. There's something about the spices on it. Mm. Also, I'm not a massive. We've been over this, but poor Cameron will be left out in this one. Out of all the poutine gravies you can get at these fast food places, A <laughs> and W actually has the best gravy, but not necessarily the best poutine. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what? I'm gonna shock you, sir. I still haven't tried gravy. Okay, so... Oh, I thought you were going to say you had. Moving on. Yeah, was, uh, I know. Someone get the defibrillator. Oh, man. Uh, Cameron hasn't tried gravy. Um, uh, best chicken sandwich? I'm not a big chicken sandwich guy. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I, I'm actually... Uh, I probably get the chicken more often... Than the burgers, I guess. Uh, really? Um, yeah, yeah. Wendy's always had a good chicken sandwich. The spicy chicken. Ah, oh, man, it's really hard for me not to put Wendy's for all these, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Wendy's spicy chicken is super good. I never tried the spicy chicken. I, I got to say, the McChicken, though, from McDonald's, I don't know, man. They're like right there. What about the double down? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give an honorable mention here and it's it's mind you I'm biased I should recuse myself from the you know the trial here oh he's going to say no but here's the caveat Cam mom and dad's Dairy Queen in Newcastle is the only Dairy Queen left that still does the burgers over a fire grill so when I say mm. Dairy Queen, I can't go to any other Dairy Queen and get that burger, actually. Yeah. But if you're in the <laughs> restaurant and you get a fresh off the charbroil grill double bacon cheeseburger from Dairy Queen. Yes. I love that it's, burger, but I can't it's get that. It's very noticeable. I can't get that same burger in Moncton or Fredericton or even yep. in Chatham. I can't get that burger. It's a noticeable difference. It really is. Yeah. Like, I understand the bias. I get that. But, like, it's true. <laughs> it's, it's a uh, noticeable difference. And they want him is. to switch, but that's why he's holding out. And he's like, you don't understand. Yep. People drive just to come to this one because they want that burger. Right? Yeah. So it's a... Uh, desserts. Uh, desserts I'm, I'm giving for it the road, to Dairy That's Queen. where I go. Yeah. Desserts, I'm giving it to Dairy Queen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A thousand mm-hmm. percent. Yeah. We're going with... Not the, even close. No, not and even on- close. <laughs> They've got that one on... Onion rings, I've only tried Dairy Queen and A&W, and they're yeah, pretty Yeah, I'm not even. an onion ring guy, so I'm not. 
maybe I maybe A and W gets the edge. Never. No, I got a bow out of that argument, but. Yeah, so we really didn't answer that one at all, boys. We just got hungry. <laughs> we just... <laughs> He's right on back. I know where I'm going when we're done. Oh, man. <laughs> I have so many choices. <laughs> uh, Heather asked... Uh. I'll be driving oh around yeah. for three hours. <laughs> Gary's on Yelp to see where he's going to go after we get off the... <laughs> it's going to take him 12 hours. Heather asked, his night drink is a medium Coke. It's a two-point <laughs> question, so I'll kind of put it together. But Heather asked, what are some things that you guys used to do, say, or wear that kids these days just wouldn't understand? I was going to say toques because I was, used to be a big toque guy, but I think toques are a thing now. Oh, Maddox, aren't, aren't, aren't if they? I went upstairs, Maddox is wearing a toque right now in the house. So it's back. It's back. Okay, well, there goes my thing. Uh, tear away pants yep. with the buttons down the sides. <laughs> what a terrible idea that was. <laughs> what a terrible idea that was. At one point, I had three or four it, pairs of pants that had the zippers that turned into shorts. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's probably not a thing anymore, but <laughs> that's not a thing. You were uh, a, that, that was dad <laughs> stuff back then. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Gary had Ugh. probably too many I don't know if you two had this, but me and Gary did. But Gary, you know what I mean? Like the straight legged khakis skater pants. Mm -hmm. With the air walks mm -hmm. to go along with it, or the etnies or the yeah, you yeah. Had the shoes stayed, boys, but the pants did not. You know what I mean? They are they are gone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had those uh, zebra printed uh, <laughs> Zubaz Zubaz. pants. The Zubas. <laughs> yeah. Every year for Christmas, for five years With straight, I asked for a, a pair of Zubas, and I, I don't get them. <laughs> I haven't gotten them yet. Zubaz with a fanny pack. Um, <laughs> well, Cameron, the Road Warriors were in on the original. That was a thing, eh? The creator yeah, got yeah. the Road Warriors yeah, yeah. to wear them, and they got a cut of the Zubaz. Yeah. <laughs> they must have got a lot of money in, in the early 90s. Oh, <laughs> man. Those were unreal. Kids, you need to look up Zubaz. Those need to come back. My, mine were San Jose Shark ones. <laughs> <laughs> and things we did that they wouldn't oh, understand. I was just thinking about that. Pa pay per view. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Video on one TV, sound oh, on man. another TV. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I don't. Yeah, you, get, you, get the, you got the sound from the cable, and you got the satellite Best. picture from this, and you got the picture from and the Gary, satellite. Like a seven second That was delay. super unique to your place because <laughs> yes. you guys had yeah. the old school motor the satellite dish. and the cable. <laughs> yeah, and anybody else incredible. who didn't have that, just so you know maybe even more understanding would be so like I watched the pay-per-views without being able to see the pay-per-views. I would just listen. Cause yeah. I wanted to know what would happen. Like watch it, listen to it. Well, it was like channel yeah. 54 or whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, you guys had cable. I didn't have. Well, cable. no. Like, so like, yeah, like, so Gary had the satellite, but it didn't have any sound. I don't know why much or how that worked. Because yeah. they scrambled They scrambled it. it so they you could watch the sound out of the, scrambled it so you But on the satellite? Them. But you can yeah. watch it. So I get yeah. it on the cable side. They scramble the picture. So you'd want to, like, you'd yeah. want to, you'd have to pay. You would think they would do the, the same, but no, they did it the opposite yeah. way, which benefited anybody that had a dish <laughs> yeah. and cable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so my TV in my room down at the other end of the hall <laughs> would be with Blast the full them. volume, <laughs> blasting down the hall. <laughs> we'd watch it on the satellite TV. And it was, but there was the big delay, right? So it was like, <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, boys. Uh, anyway, well, yeah. Well, there's lots of stuff. Like I talked about earlier, renting games, renting movies. That's not a thing anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Five for five. Yeah. <laughs> the two for four thirty-two like, or whatever at Burger King. Just watching cable. Cable <laughs> TV with regular commercials, mm -hmm. and that's all you had. There's none of that. Yeah, no such thing as the you know one little yeah. commercial, and then you'd skip like direct television oh, and skip boys. to the next thing. It was like there was no TiVo, no. there was no stopping it. You were just let four, it, let it four yeah. teenage boys pulling up to an N64, and then arguing about who's going to get the controller with the broken joystick. 
which was always yeah. Which oh, there was always reason, one, and for whatever reason, was, my memory camera is that one. it's always in anyone's house was the green one with the joy with the joystick. Up. Uh, mine was always the red one. Just this one joystick that yeah, no matter where you tilted the, the controller, one. it was just along for the ride. That <laughs> yeah. joystick. Yeah. You, do you see now they got the replacement for those now? They were like the GameCube ones, and you can buy the kit and take it apart, and it will give you a GameCube controller like that. Not as high, it's lower, yeah. and it it's a direct replacement for the GameCube now. is unreal. Um, also, the second part to that question, <clears throat> what are some things that kids do say or wear these days that you don't understand? Well, the wear thing I don't understand because I'm like the old guy now, <laughs> so I don't get it. But like... Oh, I get the wear thing because they're just wearing what I wore in well, high school yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah so, stuff um, has come back. Yeah, I'm trying to think of stuff that back. said like I've seen yeet, like y e t e t. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. I've seen. Uh, I've I've heard people like say f- it's like fina finna. It's like I'm finna something. Just so you I know, don't know what that of is. All things. Do you remember, like, there's words in everyday language now that The Rock kind of gets credit for? Like, SmackDown wasn't yes. an expression, but The Rock made it, and then Jabil. it just kind of took off. Jabroni. Jabroni is another one that Jabroni. actually the Sheik used to say, but The Rock made it popular and it took off. Yeet was yep. kind of taken off in some cultures, Jay, in the South. <clears throat> but Jay Uso on WWE literally owns the trademark to Yeet. And it basically Go just in. means so, yes. Like his shirt in big letters says yeet. It means yes. Okay. But it's almost like, you know how like instead yeet. of saying someone saying yes, they'd almost like yeah. now some of the kids would say like bet. You know what I mean? It's like yeet. Meh. Yeah. I thought it was a Jeff Foxworthy thing. Jeet. Yeah. <laughs> jeet. Yeah. <laughs> jeet. Yeah. Young too. Too. Jeet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, something that the kids do, I, I can attend. Well, I work with them all the time. Um, oh yeah. You're, you're kind of, yeah. You're on the front lines for this stuff. You're right. Yeah. In the, yeah. You're, you're right. The in the stupid battle mode. AirPod earbuds. I'm going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. <laughs> I can't say nothing. I got no, a pair. it's not. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not the issue. Cam. Like if you, like, I swear if they had a court date, they would leave one ear in to listen to music while the judge told them they're getting two years in jail. <laughs> like oh, they will oh, yeah, not. And I was talking to a principal at a middle school the other day, and I was telling about how bad the ear pods were. Like it's to the point of like I don't know that they know they're being rude, but what they do is they're listening to music even while you talk, and then you assign the assignment, and then they have to come up to your desk and ask you what to do because they just ignored you for music just five minutes ago. Like I just explained it all to you. <laughs> well, that's like I don't understand, and that, that this isn't just kids. This is probably some people, but like. People who just have the music on all the time, I can't do it. No. I either have to listen to that or do the thing that mm-hmm. I'm doing. And if I'm doing the thing that I'm doing, why would I have this noise that I keep wanting to listen to on at the same time? I can't do it. Yeah. I don't understand that. No, I, can't, I don't either, but like, they're doing it. <laughs> anyway, he told me yeah. that the earbuds aren't a problem. They've been making them put their phones away down there. And I said, oh, good for you. He said, yeah, but the, the, the smart watches. And I was like, what? So in high school, none of them are wearing smartwatches. And in the middle school, they're all wearing smartwatches, putting their phone away in their bags so they don't get trouble. But oh, they're just texting on their the, watch. On the watch. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That, there's something. In school, scrambler. if we were to get distracted from our teacher, we had to get real creative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't have yeah, technology all around me, I, you know. Just need to start carrying a Bluetooth blocker in your man. I thought about it. <laughs> True. Every time I walk by Mr. T, my music stops. You know what? I'm looking when we get 2. off. 2.4 gigahertz jammer. <laughs> Is that legal? Am I allowed to do that? Or should I just not say anything and just buy one and do it? <laughs> well, isn't, isn't, well. There also, uh, isn't there also a sound that kids, there's like, there used to be something in the States that they used to use a sound to stop kids from doing stuff it was like yeah because they're oh, super, super high frequency one of the guys at work yeah. was showing me he's like he said cam do you hear this i'm like hear what <laughs> he goes all right he said he said how about this i'm like no and he's like you could see him kind of twist in his head i was like what is wrong with you he goes 
you can't hear that noise? I'm like, no. And then he showed me this thing and it was like, it was the sound that only like teenage kids and young kids can hear and it really hurts their head. And he said, meanwhile, adults are like, I don't hear yeah. things. <laughs> It'd probably be terrifying if you could actually like hear what you used Gosh, to be able to hear imagine. versus now. <laughs> It'd probably be Ooh. scary. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, your guy's hearing must have got destroyed by music. It did. I had that, had that conversation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Like when uh, Mikhail was born, he failed his infant hearing test, which it was fine after, but we had to go back and then go back till he passed it. And then the nurse, the last time we were there, because like when they play it in the baby's ear, the baby might cry because they want to see if the baby can hear it. Oh. Uh, and she was just being yeah. nice. She's like, you want to hear it? Like you can hear what he's hearing. So she put it in my ear. And I remember looking at her camera and I was like, okay, we'll go. <laughs> and she's like, it's on. Can you hear that? And I was like, no. Yeah. It, you have the yeah. hearing. Of so then she, she switched to my right ear and I was like, oh yeah, there it is. And she said, what did you do or used to do that your left ear is so much worse than your right ear? And I instantly went like, Phil. <laughs> Because if we ever played, he was right to my left. And I mean right to my left. There was always symbols right by my head. Right? And just oh, I spent probably most four of my life next of, to... You know what I mean? <laughs> Either Nathan was to my left or Phil was to my left for like six years. Yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah, and do it, doing it in that little tiny room Didn't in help. your basement. Oh, man. <laughs> With the yeah, drums it, took right. oh, oh. it took years off my hearing for sure. And let's not let's not let Shane off scot free because I remember him playing the drums. <laughs> man, he smashed them. Oh man, those things owed him yeah. money or something. Like it was. Yeah. So yeah, like you know, twenty or thirty years of drummers doing that next to your head will do it. Boys, we really got maybe two questions here left. Power through. Okay. Uh, mom, though we kind of sherry, but my mother wanted to know how many of her cookie street sheets did we destroy? I feel like <laughs> I think we have, didn't we talk? We've about this covered before? this. <laughs> yeah, I, we we know the number yeah. stands at at least eight or nine. Well, <laughs> easy to so be we'll fair. Eight or nine. It was just one. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we we did reuse one a lot, and that was the worst yeah, one of them all. Yeah, because the more flex it got, the worse it hurt. <laughs> the other thing is, I remember replacing these, but the problem was we'd replace them, and then we'd take the replacements <laughs> back out to the ice, yes. and then yeah. we'd have I, I was, that, that was always the problem. I was going to say, I remember finding new ones several times. <laughs> yeah, multiple times. Um, yep. Yeah, and you always yeah, like the so, aluminum ones over the old school. And for those who don't practice. know, uh, yeah, backyard wrestling cookie sheets. They didn't hurt the worse. They did not hurt, but they made a nice loud bang. They sounded good. They sounded like a they gunshot going off. So there's that. And then Amanda wants to know if you could pick up a new skill in an instant, what would it be and why? To play a guitar, to be able to play with the boys. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Aww. You know what, Cameron? Now, you know what? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot the bass player. Yeah. I apologize. Every band I was ever in, they said it was me or a mini fridge, and they, that I should have felt lucky that I was there. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is way more selfish, but I'd like to be a Formula One driver. Oh man! <laughs> oh. I I take that skill instantly. Man. That'd be all right. I'm torn on be? that, or like I feel an like NHL we're too big. hockey player. Yeah, I'm torn. Yeah, yeah. I think the money's better in the Formula. One. <laughs> yeah, it is. I say so. <laughs> Man, yeah, Formula. Yeah. yeah. Just the super license oh. in general to be able to do, like rally. Or- I was watching. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching um, today. Uh, it was like a the visor cam of it was not with Leclerc when he was fighting Max mm-hmm. and Jetta like two years ago. And something about that visor cam, it's just so like Oh man. It looks insane. Mikhail was talking about that the other absolutely day. Absolutely like insane. It was just, yeah. The heads like it was yeah, in Leclerc's helmet. Checking the, other day. the mirrors. And you could see him yeah. looking like Leclerc, it was in Leclerc's helmet and they were showing actually there was a real cool 
<coughs> there was a real cool segment of the day showing where all the cameras are hidden on an F1 car. And it was... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, it's there's one in the halo um, facing the driver. There's one in the helmet of the driver. There's one above the driver's head, above the halo. Like, it's really... It's just like... Yeah. The closer they get to the... The onboards are cool, too. But there's something about that visor one. And you're like, man, you know, like, if he just, like, missed that brake zone by, like, mm. a couple of seconds... He just flies into the wall and he's dead. Well, and his, <laughs> you know his what I mean? head's like, bouncing around yeah. and you realize, and yeah. oh yeah, that corner's an average G-force of about 3.6. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... It's, uh, yeah, it's bouncing, just man. insane. Uh, I don't know, I'm doing the math three times my body weight, yeah. and my head's going to be off in a parking <laughs> lot somewhere. Yeah, uh, Jeremy, that's a solid pick, bud. Yeah, that's a good pick. That is. Kind of an pick, obvious bud. one, but you know. No, it's a real good pick. Okay, I'm waiting. Look at him in the corner. Look at Gary there. He's just waiting. I can't wait to see this one. <laughs> it is, <right>? decide. <laughs> uh, Chuck skills, I never liked that about you, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, indecisive? I, no. Uh, I, I, would, I would become a master woodworker, like fine furniture. I, was, I thought you were going to say master chef. I really, and I was about to guess that. Yes. <laughs> I don't, I don't enjoy cooking, but I do enjoy playing with wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, so you're telling us you'd want to be the master of wood. <laughs> He's in. I would love to master <laughs> wood. <laughs> Good skill. Now, I'd like to debate this with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, we'd like to thank our sponsor for today, <laughs> Man Made Underwear. Thanks, everybody, yes. for listening. It's been a long one. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> leave a five-star rating. Thanks for coming. Oh. We'll leave the light on for you. I meant the hard wood, not the soft wood. <laughs> leave a comment. Tell us what you hate about us. Bye. <laughs>